Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Your home for all the info you need to know when you're just trying to survive on a budget. Time for another episode of Small Towns. And this time, it's Blue Ridge Summit, PA. More on that right after this. Okay, right where the yellow line begins is the PA Maryland line. And we're in Blue Ridge Summit, Pennsylvania. Now this is a small town of less than a thousand. And the town has some nice amenities to it, which I was really surprised by how small it is, how much it actually has. Now, there's a train that goes through here about twice a day. I, I gotta say, I'm rather enjoying that because where I'm staying is like right beside the railroad tracks. Like where that little trailer is, is how close I am to the railroad tracks. But I did notice it had one factory. I might call it a factory. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm not too familiar with the town but it has something to do with books. Now, it's not like the factory, the book factory in Fairfield, where I knew that their business was slowing down from where they worked seven days a week, 24 hours a day, down to, you know, five days a week, 16 hours a day. But this one here is called National Book network i'll try to have a link to them down below so you can check it out i was trying to read on it and i, I just kind of got confused about exactly what they do but i did notice through the week they have about 30 to 40 cars here and it does look like a pretty decent size building now i'm just guessing this side is shipping Right there is Printing and Mailing Services Department. Over here is UPS Parking. Oh yeah, picking the tables out for their employees, that's nice. They actually have a little covered picnic area. I ain't never sat until I was actually past it. Little, little building, little building right there. Take the tables, a place for uh, cigarette butts for the smokers. That's nice, that's a nice little enclosure for the employees. come this way. Now I'm guessing right here is the main entrance, right where the C is on the building. Visitor parking is over here. I mean, other than their parking lot, needing a little TLC, the building looks pretty well maintained, I have to be honest. I mean, I'm kind of impressed by how maintained it is, especially for like a small town. Another little shack with picnic tables. I think this is the non-smoking one because I don't see one of these places for your cigarette butts.
another look at the picnic area. Now I gotta say that that's really nice. I never seen a factory do something like that before. Actually build sacks like that. I assume where they have those like you no know, carports where it's just pole and roof. But that's actually nice. It's three sided, can keep the wind off you. I'm sorry, it's two sided. Garbage cans back there. That's actually nice. Okay, let's take a closer look at the rest of the town. Okay, they have this keystone building thing here. I'm really not sure what it is, to be honest. I don't know. It says chiropractor. I don't even know if they're still open or not. See, it's kind of hard to tell with all these businesses being closed because of the carnivorous virus. But I'm guessing that's a chiropractor. I mean, that's a good way to use a, you know, a vacant building, a abandoned building, whatever you want to call it. And right here, I, I couldn't believe this house. I mean, it has the old colonial style. It's well taken care of, it's well painted. It's an amazing little house, especially for a small town. I mean, just look at the fence. Synergy Massage and Wellness Center. And as you can see, they have a lot of little things here that most small towns don't. It's like they took a bigger town and like dehydrated it or something, just really condensed it. They got a library. Of course that's closed right now. Or is it? Yeah, I think they're closed but the lights are on, I'm not sure. over here now unfortunately a lot of these places are closed this one unfortunately is for sale chat chapin gray's grill apparently that little business didn't make it kind of sad a church over on this side beautiful beautiful architecture man I'm just sitting I mean, they really have some nice, beautiful buildings in this area. They're apartments. They are apartments. That's an apartment building there. Summit Hill Apartments. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. And it's a very well maintained area. Like I said, the more I drove around this place, the more impressed I got. I really love the old houses. You know, they're, they're, they're keeping them, you know, pretty well maintained. They're not just letting them go to rot, abandoning them, abandoning them. Okay, they do have a bar here. BNT Bar and Grill, or BNT's unique Bar and Grill. Of course, they're closed because of the Canaveral fires. And in this town, I would noticed they have quite a few churches, all denominations. I think this one's the Catholic Church. Once again, very well maintained. The landscape nice, taken care of.
over here you have a thrift store. I was in there once before the carnivorous fires hit. They have a pretty large selection. And it's just not junk thrift store stuff. It's actually some really decent stuff. They have some really nice furniture. A model train stop. A model train. A mainline hobby shop that sells trains and stuff. In the window it says accepted here my parks card now if you go on the parks traffic service they'll actually get a discount shop in here they have a real nice dollar general You have your m and Bank. It's a huge building. It, I was in it before, and it's a beautiful building on the inside. Um, but due to like internet banking and ATM machines, I think they're down to like, you know, half a dozen employees. You go in there, there's like two tellers. But it's cool, they still gave really great service. Now, over here, I think it used to be a high store, but now it's dental care. Got Waynesboro Family Medicine Medical. Now it says Waynesboro Family Medical, but I'm pretty sure I'm still on Blue Ridge Summit. A car wash that does auto detailing. There's the medical office, the laundromat. And over here is our post office, and it does say Blue Ridge Summit, Pennsylvania. So the, the medical office has to be in Blue Ridge Summit. Now you got, I don't know if this is a garage or a car dealership, a used car dealership or what, but it's a garage, and you have some used cars out. Now over here is Mountain Shadows. It's a little restaurant. Right now they only got carry out. Now, I don't know if that's just an advertisement for a real estate agency or if they're actually trying to sell the place. And over here. You got Blue Ridge Food Mart. It's a little mini market. And you got King's New York Pizza Subs and Pasta. Okay, everybody. I'm going to go ahead head out. Um, if you don't have any information on, on the book factory and any of the stores, leave a comment down below. That was just a real quick tour. I'm really impressed by how much a small town like that has. I mean, if you're looking to move to a small town with, I'm going to say, medium town, town amenities, this may be the place for you. Okay. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button on these corners. And as always, thank you for watching.